CB Cotton is uh, at one of the evacuation centers. Uh, CB, which one are you uh, at right now? And also, is um, uh, how many people are taking advantage of the uh, the evacuation centers tonight? Good evening, Shannon and Jessica. I'm here at the North Boulder Recreation Center, one of the sites that has been set up across the county that's expected to stay open throughout the night, depending on the need of the residents in this area. I would say there's about 30 people here right now, and it seems like more are starting to trickle in as the night goes on. Right now, I'm joined by a gentleman named John Dawson. He is a Louisville resident. And he, of course, has graciously agreed to speak with us. Anybody who talks with us when they're going through one of the hardest moments of their life, we are so grateful for. Mr. Dawson, we were talking earlier, and you told me you are a Louisville resident. How long have you called that area home? Uh, 20 years. And uh, Mr. Dawson, what was your reaction today when you heard what was going on and the devastation that, was, that very well could have made its way to your area? Uh, I was uh, dumbfounded. Uh, I didn't realize that the whole town was being evacuated. And uh, I thought the fire had just burned on to the east and, and that we were safe now. But then uh, people keep telling me, no, they're evacuating everybody. So I finally decided, well, I better go too. And you said when you were driving out of Louisville, you started to see some pretty disturbing things as you drove out of the, the area. Uh, I was seeing large, beautiful houses uh, completely engulfed in flames. Uh, it was just heartbreaking. Uh, there are places that I've walked a lot and, and gone running and so forth. And uh, I, I had no idea that, that that much damage was being done. And something we were talking about earlier before we came on the air, we were talking about how so many people in these suburban communities never expected something like this to happen. When you think about wildfires in Colorado, unfortunately, we think about them happening closer to rural communities. Did you ever expect something like this, something this tragic to happen in your backyard? No, I thought we were inside uh, the city boundaries of, uh, of a town. You know, you don't, ex you don't expect uh, a whole town to burn up. So, uh, you know, you think about wildfires, you're thinking about California and tiny little towns surrounded by forest. Uh, I, I thought, okay, friends that uh, live up in the mountains have a cabin up there. They're, they're in danger. They're in serious danger from wildfires. But I didn't think that anybody inside of city limits of a sizable town uh, would have, there would be that much danger.